history. Well, hang on. We're cutting in. We're yeah. fixing all this, right? Kelly Slater? Yeah. You told me a story about the, about the Kelly Slater philosophy. Yeah. Uh, Kelly Slater, uh, from you, you surfers out there, I mean, you already know, he's like six-time world champion. Uh, phenomenal. And I, I learned a lot from, from Kelly in this. And I've never met him either. I'd love to, love to go surf with him one day. But what, what he did at the time when he came along, uh, there was basically the surfing industry and the, and the competition surfing was very much power surfing. It was very much... Uh, top turn, bottom turn, strong, bottom, and, and riding out the whole wave. And that was considered great. And then around the time that, uh, just before he came out, there was a lot of skateboarders or skateboarder moves started coming out and doing aerials and all this sort of fancy stuff. And when it began, a lot of them actually didn't have the ability to finish the wave. They would do this great looking trick, it would look good on camera, but they, they would waste the wave basically. And so basically it was like the old surfers who didn't approve of the, of the new young surfers and doing this fancy trick stuff. And then Kelly came along and he could do both. And he connected the two generations. And I went, I love that. And he just dominated. Uh, plus he's just everything I've ever seen of him. He seems like a really good guy. And um, he's passionate about what he does. But I love the fact that, that he saw, and I don't, know what was in my, I don't know what was in his mind, but he connected these two camps that they both thought they were totally wide apart and the fact is that they're not they actually can do it all and I kind of looked at that the way that uh, the way that I wanted to be for bartending and when I started doing this kind of stuff it was not accepted at all it was just it was wow people just if they didn't know it they didn't love it they hated it like no you absolutely can't do that because there's just spillage and there's no way and, and who do you think you are I mean it was just this negative attitude and I just want I just saw a bigger picture I saw that I wanted to bridge the gap so that's kind of one of the things about, about, uh, about my company that I wanted to show people. So hopefully we've done that. We can show, we've shown the world in a way that you can have all the fun and do all these tricks and amazing, but you can be a great all-around bartender. You can, you can make quick drinks and you can not slow, slow down. You can not spill and, and all the philosophies that we try to do. Um, so that, I kind of got that from, from what Kelly did to surfing. So I kind of wanted to emulate that uh, in bartending.